Bhakti to sit on, which is something my, one of my teachers, Bhima Karma, does. He sits on these blocks to get the Murdanga up. Uh, so when he, when he has the Murdanga in front of him, it's like sitting down rather than my arms. So uh, that's just an option. Now you can totally do all of this on your knees, on your thighs. Everything I'm going to show can be done just like that. So don't worry that you don't have a drum. You can play on your thighs. And that's a good way to learn and a good way to practice before you get the drum. So we always start off with obeisances to the Murdanga. So offering our namaskars, our namastes, right? So we say, Om Murdanga Namo Namaha. Okay, so the drum has two heads. A small head, which is higher pitched, and a bigger side, which is lower in nature. Now this is even a little high. I would typically put some water on it. There's a specific way to water the drum. Don't do it unless you know how, because you don't want to ruin the, the gob, the piece in the center. But you can hear, this is deeper than that. Okay, so you have an open hit which the sound resonates out, you have a closed hit, which is muffled. Same thing on this side, open hit, resonates out, closed hit, has a more muffled sound. Okay. So the first hit is on the right hand, the small side. A, closed. A. So everybody do that. A. A. So what I'm going to do is teach you uh, a very basic hand exercise. I've studied with probably four or five Murdanga teachers. And each of them, the first thing that they do is teach this, this Tere Kita. So each sound on the drum has a word associated with it. This is Te. Now some of them have multiple sounds, Te, Ne, but Te. And then Re is going to be a hit with the thumb and it sticks to the drum. So I don't want to bounce it off it, I want it to stick right to the center. So if I was on my thigh, it would be te, re, closed, closed, te, re, te, re, te, re, te, re. Okay, so te, re, and then k. You see how my fingers are slightly pointed down? So they're not, they're pointed down, not up. Te, re, k. Te, re, k. The goal of this is to keep my right hand pretty loose, my right wrist pretty loose. Te, re, ke. So the weight of my hand dropping is what creates the sound on the re. Te, re, ke. Te, re, ke. And a lot of times they say to do it slower is more skillful. It takes more skill to do it slow. So then ta is open on the small side. Te, re, ke, ta. Te, re, ke, ta. Te, re, ke, You can hear the different sounds. Closed, 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 open. Closed, 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 open. And this is all we're going to do. Nothing fancy. You know, you don't need a lot of the fancy stuff. 
Madhava, who is a world famous Murdunga player. Uh, some would argue that he revolutionized the way people play the Murdunga. And he told me that this was all he really knew for years. And this is how we would practice. A, re, K, Ka. So now let's pick it up to go the speed up a little bit. So we gotta spend some time with it. We can't rush on. We have to let our body and our muscle and the mind wrap itself around what we're doing. I often equate this to learning, trying to learn math. It's taxing on the mind to think, to hold rhythm. So now we're going to change it just a little, not too much though.
I'm sorry. P, 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 P. P is the small side, P is the big side. P, P. Key and K, same. Like te re ke ta, ti ki, ti ki ta, ti ki ta. See that's open? Ti ki ta, just like te re ke ta, same. Ti ki ta, ti ki ta. It's like I'm hitting something back and forth. Ti ki ta, or this way, ti ki ta, ti ki ta. Back and forth. Tiki taki. 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 Move your body around a little bit. 11 o'clock with Lauren Levine. Okay, bye-bye.